The house and the carpets look great, don't they? But do you want to know a dirty secret? Look down here. See all this? As soon as your heater or air conditioner comes on, all this is going to end up right back in the house. And you don't want that. Hi, I'm David Hart, president of Ram Air Industries. I've been in the professional carpet cleaning business for over 20 years. And during that time, I've noticed the heater vents in people's homes and businesses have often been choked by the same dirt, dust, and pet hair that I found in the carpet. It just killed me that after my hard work, all that gunk in the ducts was going to end up right back on the fresh and clean carpet and the rest of the house, on the countertops and people's food, even in their lungs. It just didn't make sense. In the carpet cleaning business, we use this powerful vacuum device to extract the dirt, debris, and moisture from the carpets. I knew from cleaning the vents and inside the ducts, the suction was more than strong enough at close range. But how would you get the stuff deep inside the ducts? I saw how other duct cleaning systems used rotating brushes and other devices to loosen caked on gunk and then used a vacuum system to suck up the debris. Brushes have a tendency to damage ductwork, are prone to breakage, and require constant maintenance. Then it hit me. Rather than using brushes or other mechanical devices to loosen the gunk, what if you blasted the gunk off the duct walls with air? A compressed air line would easily fit into the duct, won't harm the duct surfaces, and best of all, will increase the suction power of the vacuum by increasing the speed within the duct. To amplify the suction and contain the debris within the vacuum, I built an airtight box that fits around the register opening. This ensures that suction is maximized and no debris escapes into the house. And the box is clear, so it allows you to actually see the dust and debris as it is removed from your duct. You can see how the compressed air blasts into every corner and crevice, where the increased suction can grab it and pull it out. Just look at all the gunk that's not going into the house and ending up here and on everything else. It's a fact that most people don't clean their ducts as often as they should. Dirty carpets are obvious, so they get cleaned once or twice a year. But the ducts often get ignored for years, eventually clogging with gunk where it gets blown back in the house. If you see this a few days after dusting, you should consider getting your ducts clean. You don't need your ducts clean as often as your carpets. For most people, once every two years is about right. Now that the word is out on how effective my system is, some of my biggest clients are high-end home builders. They know that if the heating system starts out clean, it'll work better with fewer problems. My system offers many advantages over other duct cleaning systems. It's fast, usually requiring only an hour or two. It's less disruptive, you don't have to move out or remove furniture. It's cost effective, especially if done on a regular schedule. And best of all, it's incredibly effective providing dust-free air and a cleaner home for you and your family. The next time you need your carpets cleaned, or if you think you need your ducts cleaned, we'll be happy to check out your system and give you a quote. Chances are, we can do it in just a little more time than it takes to clean your carpets. And that should make everyone breathe a little easier. I'm David Hart, and I personally guarantee you'll be pleased with our services. We feel that the Ram Air system is the most effective duct cleaning system available. It's also one of the easiest to use. This instructional video will cover the three simple steps necessary to effectively clean the ducts, furnace, also known as the air handler, and filtration systems found in nearly all types of buildings. Step one, cleaning the return air ducts and grill. First set the thermostat to fan on. We want the air handler fan running to ensure that the air is moving from the return ducts where we will be cleaning towards the supply ducts where the air exits the system. Next, remove the air return grill and take it outside to clean it with the gun attachment. If the grill is not removable, clean it in place making sure that the dust is being blown into the return duct and not into the building. Now use the gun to clean the entrance of the return air duct. A brush may be helpful to loosen debris stuck in corners and tight spots. 
Attach the duct ball to the cleaning hose and insert it into the return duct and start blasting the debris in the intake duct back towards the filter. Feed the hose into the duct with a twisting motion so that every surface of the duct gets blasted with air. As you feed the hose into the duct, you'll feel the jet propelled design of the duct ball pulling the hose deeper into the duct. Once you're satisfied that the entire return duct has been thoroughly cleaned, replace the air return grill and locate the air handler for step two. Step two, cleaning the air handler and filters. Remove the filter from the air handler and set it aside for now. We'll clean it later. Then remove the inspection cover from the air handler, exposing the controller board and fan. Locate the fan shutoff switch and tape the switch down so that the fan will continue to run while you clean. This will ensure that any excess debris will get pulled into supply ducts and not back into the building. Be aware that you will be working around live wiring, so be sure to use extreme caution during this step of the cleaning. Use the duct ball and gun attachments to thoroughly clean the plenum. Then use the gun to blow out the fan area and the inside of the air handler. Again, use extreme caution during this step, as you will also be working around moving parts, such as fan blades. Try and hit all the panels you can easily reach, including the access panel you first removed. Now we'll clean the filter. Most air handlers use one of three kinds of filters disposable, reusable, and electronic. For disposable filters, simply remove the filter and replace with a new one. If no replacement is available, use the gun to blow out any surface debris, making sure that you're blowing in the opposite direction of the air direction arrow printed on the filter. If the filter is badly clogged or damaged, it should be replaced. For reusable and electronic filters, first remove the filter and any pre and post filter screens. Now use the gun to aggressively blow any debris off the fan and filter screen surfaces. Be sure to blow the filter blades from all angles. Replace the filter screens and electronic filter. Now we're ready for step three, cleaning the supply ducts. If the vacuum system you're using is a truck mounted carpet cleaning machine, first install the dust downer attachment to the vacuum inlet and attach the duct ball on the cleaning hose. Don't attach the cleaning hose to the on-off valve on the supply line just yet. Starting on the highest floor, locate the farthest register cover and remove it. Feed the duct ball and cleaning hose into the duct, gently twisting and turning the hose to help it go around turns or corners. Feed the cleaning hose into the duct as far as it will go. Now turn on the visual reference lights in the Ram Air System vacuum box and feed the quick connect coupler on the cleaning hose through the red grommet from the inside of the box and attach it to the on-off valve. Position the valve close enough to the vacuum box so you can control it yourself or have an assistant standing by to operate the valve for you. Take the one and a half inch vacuum hose and insert it into the opening on the vacuum box. Then, while keeping the vacuum box tightly pressed over the register opening, fully open the air valve and begin slowly retracting the cleaning hose out of the duct. You'll know that you're cleaning effectively when you see dust and debris swirling inside the vacuum box as you slowly withdraw the cleaning hose. You may wish to invite the homeowner over to see the process during this phase of the cleaning. They will be amazed at the amount of gunk coming out of their ducts. When the duct ball comes into view, turn off the air valve, disconnect the cleaning hose from the quick connect coupler, and gently pull the ball through the red grommet while holding the vacuum box steady on the floor with your foot. Now remove the one and a half inch vacuum hose from the vacuum box, disconnect it from the two inch vacuum hose to temporarily stop vacuum flow, and feed it into the duct while twisting and turning to get around any corners and into the duct as far as possible. Reattach the one and a half inch hose to the two inch vacuum hose and begin slowly retracting it from the duct. Twist and turn the hose as you retract it to further loosen and remove any debris remaining inside the duct. Once the one and a half inch vacuum hose is out, use it to vacuum around the register opening as well as clean the register cover. Replace the register cover and move to the next register and repeat the process. Work in an organized, consistent direction from upper to lower floors until all ducts and registers have been cleaned. This will ensure you haven't missed any ducts. Now return to the furnace and remove the tape from the fan shutoff switch. Replace the furnace inspection cover Set the thermostat back to normal operation and you're done. Even the cleanest homes have a dirty secret. Look down here. See all this? As soon as your heater or air conditioner comes on, all this is gonna end up right back in the house. And you don't want that. 
Recent studies suggest that indoor air pollution is responsible for over half of all illnesses. With a thorough cleaning using the patented Ram Air system, the air you breathe will be free from dust, allergens, and irritants that can cause respiratory problems. Call us today for a quote and start breathing cleaner air tomorrow.